the diagram. And then how do you decide where you're going to draw the, the diagram? You say on your cast diagram. So first you say you have your cast diagram which says all students take COVID. Now you have zero, you have 90, you have 180, 270, 306. Okay? And then the trigonometric ratio is going to be provided. So we are given the following sine of alpha. If you are given the sign of alpha, and then you come and check on the right hand side. On the right hand side, you check the sign of alpha. Is it positive or negative? Did they give you something which is positive or negative? So we have 8 all over 17. 8 all over 17, is it something positive or something negative? It's positive. Everyone can see which is positive, I guess. What does that mean? It means the whole sine alpha should be positive. The whole of sine alpha is positive because the left hand side and the right hand side are equal. That's what we are saying. The left hand side and the right hand side are equal. Now with that being said, it otherwise they are saying to a learner, go and tell us where sine is going to be negative, where, where sine is going to be positive. Now sine is going to be positive in two quadrants and then sine is going to be negative in two quadrants. So we remove the ones that we don't need. Now which one we don't need is the negative ones. Okay? Let's go and remove the negative. So we remove 3 and 4, we remove them. Why are we removing 3 and 4? It's because sine on the third quadrant is negative. Sine on the fourth quadrant is negative. Sine is positive on the first and on the second quadrant. Still good. Then. How did you know which sine is positive on the second quadrant? It's all student take over. Agreed S then. So S represents sine. Now with that being said, we go on and read the statement. The statement says that Alpha should be an element between 90 up until 270. Can you see that? So your alpha should be somewhere between 90 up until 270. There's something that alpha cannot be. They are saying it to you, there's something that alpha cannot be. So alpha, can, alpha cannot be an angle less than 90. Okay. Now which quadrant are we removing by that? Because there's a quadrant which is going to give us angles which are less than 90. Which quadrant is that? First quadrant. So we remove the first quadrant. So where are we going to draw our diagram? We are going to draw our diagram on the second quadrant. And then we come and say on the second quadrant. Draw our diagram. Now if we draw our diagram, our angle is always going to be measured from the positive x axis anti-clockwise. So starting from here up until there. This is going to be your alpha. Okay. And then this thing is always going to be perpendicular to the x-axis. Perpendicular to the x-axis. Then this is your diagram. That was the first job. Let's learn how to draw the diagram on the correct quadrant. So let's try this now one, uh, this one of turn, and check if we understand where are we supposed to draw our diagram. <laughs> 